The miracle of life. We all think we know how it works. There's birds, bees, romantic candlelight, Barry White on vinyl, and voila, you've made a new life. But recently, people have been talking about three parent babies. Why? Well, in December 2016, IVF clinics in the UK were given the final go ahead to apply to carry out a mitochondrial donation procedure. To understand what that means and how it's possible, we're going to delve a little deeper into how babies are actually made. So, when two people love each other very, very much, no, you know what, let's skip that whole part. Now, in case you haven't studied sex ed at school yet, a sperm is the male reproductive cell, and it's deceptively simple. Basically, a packet of genetic material attached to a tail. Now, in pretty much every cell in your body, you've got mitochondria, little power plants that convert sugar into energy. In the rest of your body, their energy powers everything from digestion to movement, but in the sperm, the mitochondria powers the tail so it can swim forward as fast as possible. It's a race because there's a lot of sperm, about 100 million per milliliter of ejaculate, and only one gets to fertilize their egg. The egg cell, an ovum, doesn't race. It doesn't move on its own, and it's big. You can actually just about see it with the naked eye, which is very rare for a cell. And it's packed full of everything it needs to divide and begin to grow once it's fertilized. Now, when the gold medal winning sperm meets the egg, an enzyme in the head helps penetrate the egg cell membrane. The genetic information then enters, eventually mixing with the mother's chromosomes and a nucleus at the center of the fertilized egg. The sperm leaves its tail and most of the mitochondria actually outside. Structures in the egg engulf and destroy the rest. And we know that in some species, the male's mitochondria even self-destruct. That means that while you are a genetic mix of your father and your mother, your mitochondria, your power supply, comes only from your mother, and hers only from her mother, and so on throughout history. Why does it work this way? Why don't we just carry the genes to make new mitochondria the way we carry instructions to make new hair or body parts or other bits of cells? Well, mitochondria are a little bit different. They reproduce on their own time schedule, and they have their own DNA inside them. This is probably all related to their origin. We think mitochondria came from an ancient act of symbiosis, where a single-celled ancestor of yours engulfed a simpler cell, eventually coming to rely on it to create energy. And that's why they're so independent. They used to live on their own. Now, it is super cool that you have your mum's mitochondria, but it's unfortunate for women who have faulty mitochondria. They could make a successfully fertilized egg with a nucleus, but their mitochondria could leave the baby very sick. Now, mitochondrial diseases are varied, but they can be really nasty, and they especially affect bits of the body that use a lot of energy, like the brain, the heart, the muscles, the lungs. So this is where three parent babies comes in for that mitochondrial donation. What it basically boils down to is another woman donating her mitochondria, the same way you might donate a kidney. Let's walk through the whole process. First, a mother's egg, which contains unhealthy mitochondria, is fertilized by a father's sperm. That happens in vitro, outside the body, in a culture dish. The new nucleus that they have made is removed and placed in a donor's egg cell. That donor egg has already had its original nuclear material removed, but importantly, it still contains its original healthy mitochondria. So the end result is an egg that contains the mother and father's combined genetic material in the nucleus and healthy mitochondria from the donor. And because there are three people's genetic material involved, that's why it's being called a three-person baby. A clinic in Newcastle is likely to carry out the first procedures in the UK and hopes to treat 25 patients a year. Fact, a dog groomer in Leicestershire is rumoured to be one of the first people in the UK hoping to have a child using this technique. The really interesting thing though, there's already a three-parent baby out there. He just didn't get the media coverage. In Mexico, IVF regulations are less strict, and in 2016, a similar technique was used there to create an embryo with donor mitochondria. The resulting baby will turn one year old in 2017. I wonder if he gets three sets of birthday presents. As always, we'd love your comments, so make sure you put them uh, down below. We do read them all. Click here to subscribe to the channel. Click here to check out a film about blood donation and find out how that works. See you soon.